Hi, hello, welcome back to another vlog. I am tired and so happy to be home. It is currently 4.15, you can't even see that, 4.15. It's Thursday, I just got home from work. Well, actually after work, I had an Amazon return to drop off at Whole Foods and I got some hot food while I was there and a slice of key lime pie because I've had this crazy craving for key lime pie for weeks now and yeah I just needed to get that um, and then I also went to Ulta because I wanted to pick up a couple things I am leaving for vacation tomorrow so there were just a couple things that I wanted to make sure I got so I could bring it with me um, restocked on the Benefit Professional setting spray. And then I got the Tarte Radiant Shape Tape Concealer. That is supposed to be a more light coverage and more radiant, obviously. And I had saw online that this is supposed to be really good for like a no makeup or really light natural kind of makeup look because the regular shape tape is like thick. Hopefully it's a good shade i didn't want to get anything too light i think that should be good for me yeah because of how tan i am right now i didn't want to get anything too light that it would just look ridiculous and obvious that i have stuff under my eyes but i obviously don't want it to be too dark i got it in the shade medium so yeah tomorrow morning my friend Haley and i are flying down to miami we're gonna stay there for the night and meet up with our friend Paul. And then Saturday morning, we are getting on a cruise and it's gonna be Paul's like entire family and extended family. It's gonna be a pretty big group of people. And it's been pretty nice because normally I am usually the one that ends up being in charge of booking things and planning everything. And it's been nice to just be able to sit back and let someone else take charge of that. And I've just been like, all right, just let me know how much I owe you and where I need to be and when. So I don't really know too much of the details. I know obviously we're leaving from Miami and we're going to the Dominican Republic and Aruba and it's gonna be an eight day long cruise. So we're getting on Saturday, getting off the following Sunday and then we're gonna stay another night in Miami and then fly back home Monday morning. Then Tuesday afternoon, literally 24 hours later, I am flying out to Charlotte with my friend Haley again, and we are gonna be in Charlotte for two nights on a brand trip. So I'll share more about that later on when we get to that point. So I'm very excited, but it's also just been like a hectic week I feel like it always, at least for me anyway, it always gets a little crazy leading up to a trip because there's just so much to get done and I like to be ahead of things. Like I always like to keep my place super clean before I go and make sure that I'm like ahead on work just so that way it makes it easier for me when I get back. But there's a couple more things that I need to do tonight before I go to bed, but I'm almost done with everything and oh it's gonna feel so good to officially get into vacation mode but I'm gonna go and eat I just got a little random platter here got an egg roll mac and cheese some chicken and garlic string beans and it smells so good and I have not eaten since breakfast so I'm gonna go eat and sit and chill out for a second because I've been up since six this morning and I need to drink more water. I feel a headache coming. I'll check in later when it's time to start packing. So what I always like to do to make my life so much simpler is have a list of everything I need and I do different categories like toiletries, medicine, accessories, tech, etc. I started typing up this list 
earlier in the week and I'm so glad I did because as the days went on I kept thinking of other things that I want to bring that I was forgetting so I think at this point I have a very solid list like everything that I want to bring and that I'm gonna need I have on here normally like as far as packing clothes it is helpful for me to have an idea of what we're gonna be doing while we're there so I know like okay I need this many like nicer outfits for dinner or for going out and this many like casual daytime outfits but honestly i have no idea what we're doing like i said and i've also never been on a cruise before so i feel like anything can kind of go on a cruise like i feel like people i've seen will like really go all out and get really fancy but then like you also could be really casual so i think i'm gonna just start with the toiletries and like those essential things and then as far as the actual outfits I'm just gonna try to fit as much as I can in my suitcase and obviously make sure I have a good mix of like daytime and then like dinner outfits and try to bring like a good amount of basics too so that I can kind of like recycle things and mix and match repeat things if needed and through the power of editing we're gonna pack this bag in two seconds. Ready? Done. Definitely filled it up to the brim, but got everything in there. And I think I should be good outfits wise. Hopefully it's not gonna go over the weight limit. I don't think it should. Let me zip it up and see. I don't think that feels too heavy. I think we should be good. And then I have my stuff over here for the morning that I'm going to actually wear on the plane. I have my backpack as my like personal item. I have a few other little things that I still need to get done. I have some dirty dishes in the sink over there. So I'm going to get that taken care of. I have a podcast episode that I'm like halfway through editing. So I need to finish that so I can upload and schedule it. And then I need to pack up Benny's stuff, my dog. He is going to stay at my friend Nina's house while I'm gone. And it's perfect. He's met her a few times. Her husband works from home. So someone will be home with him 24 seven. And they also have another dog that gets along really well with him they have so much fun together and they have a fenced in backyard so it's literally the perfect scenario he should be happy and comfortable and safe and all of that while I'm gone which is nice I feel like ever since I got a dog it makes it really hard to go out of town for anything because that's the first thing I think of is like okay well who's gonna watch him but I know that He'll be in good hands, and this is kind of like the best scenario. So, yeah, I need to pack up his stuff to bring over to her house. I'm going to drop him off in the morning on my way to pick up my friend, and then we're going to go straight to the airport from there. I'm going to do my best to vlog throughout this trip, but I'm also going to try and live in the moment. We'll see how much vlog footage I can get, but I'll see you in the morning. Is it gonna be heavy boy? <laughs>
We are here in Miami. <laughs> Can you give it? Like, can you give it? Hola, Islanders! An intro. Hi, Islanders! Can you be shut our door? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's. <laughs> like, oh, we're finally on the cruise. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Okay. Oh. Uh -huh. yeah. okay. Thank you. Here's our room. Hello, Islanders. Sorry. We got closets. That'll be nice. We can hang our shit up. This is nice. Is there like an iron in here? You even got this. Here's. Bathroom number one. Damn, fridge. Where's our keys? Is this a fridge? Snoozing. Here's our keys. Oh, cute. Let me see bathroom number two. Wow. Wow, that's nice. There is an iron? I haven't seen one. There might be in the closet. Bathroom number two. Oh my god, with a full tub and everything. In case we want to take a bubble bath. Oh shit, I think this actually comes down for a bed. Pull out cap. No. no. I mean, That's it's, terrifying. It's here comes down. No. Yeah. I'm horrified. Wait, how, open it. Please call Stewards for assistance. An extra bed. Yeah. Go ahead. Go up the floor. No. That's scary. <laughs> it is. What do you mean? Who's going to be sleeping underneath the floating <laughs> bed? Not I. Hell no. Well, at least we got our own individual Wait, is... beds. God bless. <laughs> Here's our view. No balcony, but you know, that's okay. We are poor people. We're living like second class <laughs> citizens here, but it's fine. We're the people on the Titanic that would have died. Yeah. Well, we no, would have, we would have drowned. Oh, I can make that jump. <laughs> can you, those don't open though. How are you gonna, you go get that thing and bust in the window. Oh, okay. All right, we need to go get some food and <laughs> drinks.
home. Oh, <coughs> I'm a hot freaking mess right now. Traveling always looks and sounds so fun and glamorous. But by the end of the trip, there's nothing glamorous about it. It's currently Monday afternoon, it's almost 4.30. I landed in the airport, went to pick up Benny, just got home and brought all our stuff up from the car. <laughs> so cute. I missed him so much. Um, but he had a great time. My friend Nina, who watched him for me, sent me a ton of photos and videos and he just looked so cute. She said he was having a great time and was super happy and comfortable. So that makes me feel so good because I always feel guilty leaving him, especially for long periods of time. Are you happy to be home? Did you miss me? Did you miss me? I missed you so much. I don't know if I caught a cold or if it's just like really bad allergies, but I just feel really congested. But you know, I was on vacation, partying, drinking, out of my normal routine, not really getting a lot of sleep or the best sleep. So my body just feels very run down. And last night we stayed in a hotel in Miami because we got to the port in the afternoon, but then our flight wasn't until today. And our hotel room was freezing. The air was blasting. So I woke up just feeling like so dry and congested, couldn't really breathe. So yeah, I just feel disgusting and I'm hungry. All I had so far was a croissant and some coffee and I don't have any groceries right now. All I have is an apple in my fridge, which I don't even know if it's still good. So I'm gonna order delivery. I'm just gonna get some soup, like Carabas. Chicken soup sounds really good right about now. And I'm gonna make myself some tea, hop in the shower, put my clothes to wash. I have so much laundry. I'm so grateful though that I got on top of everything and I cleaned and I left everything good to go before I left because it feels really good to come home to a clean apartment. But I don't have the luxury of being able to just leave my stuff and unpack it later. I have to do it today because then tomorrow I fly out to Charlotte for a brand trip and I'm gonna be gone for two more nights. So I'm excited for it but I'm also like, ugh, I'm feeling exhausted. So I really wanna make sure that I just rest and relax and kind of get myself together tonight so that way hopefully by tomorrow I'll be feeling a little bit better. I'll fill you in a little bit more on like everything, all the traveling when I get back from the Charlotte trip. But right now I need to just rest. So I will see you in the morning. so good 
to be home and finally done with my traveling for now anyway. I have three weeks home and then I'm leaving for another long trip. But honestly, I'm so grateful that I can travel, that I, you know, have the means to, that I am healthy enough to be able to do so. But I will say, after being on the go and being away from home for so long at a time, it does feel really good to be home, to shower in my own shower, sleep in my own bed, be with my dog. But it is currently Friday afternoon. I started getting some laundry done today. I went and got a wax and I just got back from the grocery store. So let me do a quick little haul. Oh, I also got Starbucks while I was out because it's pumpkin season now and I love the pumpkin cream cold brews so so good I haven't really been going to Starbucks that often lately but I love their pumpkin stuff so I gotta get as much of it as I can while it's available but yeah I went to Trader Joe's because I have literally no groceries in my fridge so I got the apple cider donuts of course I had to they are so good um, and it's just a seasonal thing so when I saw them I got all excited I love fall this is my favorite time of year and I know technically it's still summer but I'm like you know while all the pumpkin stuff is out I just want to take advantage of it and then I got some English muffins eggs cheese chocolate peanut butter protein bars these are so good from Trader Joe's I love them and then I got some broccoli I also got these kind of like randomly last minute the trader joe's noodles strawberries half and half turkey bacon salmon ground turkey chicken breakfast sausage sweet italian chicken sausage cream cheese and then pumpkin cream cheese i'm very excited to try that and then i almost forgot i also got some flowers cute also cute it's a little while later I am about to finally eat breakfast I made some egg bites I just sprayed the muffin tins with like some non-stick cooking spray and then I mix up an egg with some half and half and I just fill them up with egg, a little bit of turkey bacon, cheese, seasoned with salt and pepper. Baked it at 350 for 10 minutes. Very, very simple and easy. So I'm gonna try one. It just tastes like eggs with turkey bacon and cheese. <laughs> and I'm having an English muffin with that pumpkin cream cheese. So let me try this. So good. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on top, but yeah, super good. I am gonna go eat this. I have all that laundry piled up on my bed that I need to fold and put away. So while I do that, we will chat and get all caught up and I'll tell you all about my trips. <sighs> it's a lot of clothes to put away, but let's chat while I do this. So yeah, the first half of my travels, I went on a carnival cruise. It was my first time on a cruise. And I don't know, a lot of people were saying like, oh, carnival's not really like the best. Like, I guess they're kind of known to be more of like a party boat and it's not always like, I don't know, the most luxurious experience. But for the most part, I mean, it was a lot of fun. We were with a really good group. And I feel like when you're with good friends, it doesn't matter where you are or what you're doing. Like you're always gonna have a good time. We made so many memories on that trip and we have like so many new, <laughs> like funny inside jokes. We had the first three days on it. We were just out to sea, which was pretty cool. But on, I think it was day three, I was pretty hungover. And then we also happened to hit really, really rough waters that same day. So I had a hangover 
combined with seasickness and I was so sick and felt terrible. All the people in my room too felt the same way. So we all just ended up like one by one coming back to the room. We all got room service and we just stayed in that night. <laughs> And then our first stop was in Aruba. That was definitely one of the funnest days that we had on that whole trip. Um, we just went to the beach and we hung out in this area where there was a beach bar. We had our big giant group, which there was almost 50 of us all together. So in Aruba, we were just hanging out on the beach the entire day. And then we all kind of split off and did our own thing for dinner. Did a little bit of shopping and exploring. We were in Aruba the entire day, which was nice. So we got to not see everything, obviously, but we got to at least spend like a good amount of time there. I definitely would like to go back because that was my first time in Aruba and I really liked it there. And I would love to be able to spend a little more time and see more. And then our second stop was in Bonaire which I was completely unfamiliar with. We unfortunately were only there for a few hours. We didn't even get a full day there. That's the one thing about cruises. Like if you just want to be able to get a little taste of multiple places, it's a great option because, you know, you get to see a lot in a short amount of time. But if you really want to be able to do a lot of exploring and really like get to experience the culture of, the places that you're visiting it's tricky because you arrive in your port you have a set amount of time that the boat's gonna stay there and by the time you like get together with your group come up with a game plan figure out where you're gonna go get a taxi then get to the location because a lot of the times everywhere we were going was like 30 minutes away from the cruise port so by the time you get to your location and then find a taxi and get back and sometimes it can be tricky because everybody's getting off the boat at once and taxis are limited so getting the transportation around your location can be kind of tricky so you end up only having like a little bit of time at each place but anyway yeah we went to Bonaire which I had never been to before and it was absolutely beautiful. The area that we went to was a beach, which again, they had like a little like bar restaurant area and the water there was so clear and beautiful and it just looked surreal. And you can see like the mountains out in the distance. I just, it's hands on one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to. I would definitely love to go back there as well. And then after that, we went to La Romana, Dominican Republic, which unfortunately they had just been hit by the storm right before we got there. So we weren't able to like go to the beach and swim or anything like that because the water was kind of dirty from the storm. And they actually, like the military was there not letting people go into the ocean anyway. So that was kind of a bummer. And then after La Romana, we went to Amber Cove and that was really beautiful. We did a waterfall excursion while we were there, which was hands down one of the coolest experiences of my entire life. We did like a 45 minute hike all the way uphill. And then we got to go down these like natural water slides. It was just like really, really smooth rock. It was just so beautiful. And I was honestly kind of scared because they were like, you have to really listen to the tour guide and be careful about how you go down the slides. And we had to wear helmets and life jackets. I was like, um, am I gonna like get cut up or hurt myself? But we ended up being fine. Nobody got injured at all. And it was a really, really fun, cool experience. And then we had one final day at sea, going back to Miami. And then when we got to Miami, we stayed there another night, hung out with my friend's family. And then on Monday, we flew home. You saw me, that was the last time I vlogged. And then Tuesday, I had to pack my bags again, hop on another flight, and we flew first class, even though our flight was like 30 minutes long, but still it was pretty cool. 
my first time flying first class to Charlotte for a Dirt Devil brand trip. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I've done a few sponsorships with Dirt Devil and they had reached out and invited me to their annual symposium, which I didn't really know what it was or what to expect or who was going to be there, but it was super cool. They had us stay in the Grand Bohemian Hotel in downtown Charlotte, which was incredible. So, so nice. And they had our rooms all decked out in all this dirt double stuff. And I think there were like around 10 influencers or so in total. And then we all had plus ones and we got to meet the Charlotte team because their headquarters, Dirt Devils headquarters is in Charlotte. So we got to meet everyone that worked there, which they are all so cool and so nice. Like I love the work culture, office culture that they have there. Everyone is so young. The first night we went to this cool like arcade bar kind of place and they just had like a buffet of food for us and we got some drink tickets. We were just playing arcade games and like chatting, meeting everybody. And then the second day we went to their factory and their headquarters and we got to see how they make their products, how they test everything out. It was actually really interesting. And then we were just in this like big showroom basically where they had all of their current products out and they showed us everything. Um, we got to like compare everything to their top competitors. But yeah, it was definitely interesting. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't recognize or know anyone beforehand, but then, you know, we all like followed each other and everything and I was like, damn, I am with people that have like very large followings. This is very cool. Like I kind of, that time felt like I, don't belong here <laughs> and I'm so grateful to have been invited and I really did have such a good time and I brought my friend Haley with me as my plus one and she had a great time too and she was like this is so cool she had never been like she's not an influencer and she had never been to like a brand event like that or anything and she was like this is crazy like this is just it's so interesting to see like behind the scenes of the stuff that you would see on social media normally but it was just interesting because after the trip was over i was seeing all of the content posted on instagram afterwards and i was like huh it's just interesting how things can be so different in person versus how people make it seem online and it just made me feel like I am not good at curating my life and creating an idealistic presence I guess online and I, I'm not saying that to sound like I'm, I'm better than anybody or anything like that it actually felt quite the opposite I'm just so like maybe it's maybe it's laziness I don't know I'm just so like what you see is what you get and seeing some of the content from some of the other creators I was like you didn't seem that excited or that enthusiastic about all of this stuff when we were actually there in real life some things just seemed like way more glamorous and like just just different I don't know and it's interesting to see people's like online persona and the personality that they put out online versus what their personality is like in real life sometimes it's, it's a little different I'll talk about it more on my podcast so if you're not following that I'll have a link down below girls who get it podcast because I'm just I'm interested to talk about it in a little more detail it was a very cool trip though and it just kind of made me feel like maybe i need to like step my game up a little bit with social media and with content creation and take it a little bit more seriously because i don't know i just like didn't really feel like i fit in maybe it's just in my own head but yeah then thursday morning i flew back home and i honestly slept like all day like from the time i got home yesterday i just slept until like 
8 p.m. Then I got up, ate some food, showered, and then went right back to bed. But it feels really good to be home and to get my life back in order and get back into my normal routine. So I am going to finish putting the rest of this stuff away. I have a little bit more unpacking that I need to do. So I'm gonna put on a podcast and finish all of that. But that's gonna be it for this vlog. I am gonna start a new one tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm back in the salon with clients again. So we're gonna get back to, you know, the usual type of content. Comment down below and let me know what you guys wanna see from me like do you want me to just keep going with the vlogs do you want to see more salon like behind the scenes content do you want more sit down videos do you want tutorials like I don't know let me know what you'd like to see from me don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already so you don't miss the next time I upload don't forget to check out my podcast like I said and I will see you really soon in my next video bye